Hey there, my name is Benson. I'm a sophomore at Harvard. We have a super packed agenda today. I have a midterm, assignments to wrap up, meals to eat, a gym session, and a client call later today. Stay till the end to watch me cook at Harvard. Good morning, everyone. Right now it's 5.19 a.m. First thing in the morning when I wake up, I drink some vitamin C, just some supplements and vitamins. This just helps to jumpstart and give me energy for the day. I have a 9 a.m. midterm today on natural disasters. Do you know how hurricanes see? With one eye. to my friend's place. It's like 5.50ish right now. We're gonna head to the Cabot Library to do some last minute studying just before our midterm. For those who don't know, today is also housing day for freshmen. Hopefully they get to find out where they're gonna be staying for the next three years. Last year, my block mates and I got into Dunster House. We were super hyped and overall housing day is just one of many traditions that we have at Harvard. My friend Joseph is part of Low House. We both took the same class and because of this midterm, both of us are going to miss the housing day celebrations for this year. But I do enjoy his class a lot. I like learning about the different disasters and how they form all around the world. It's also one of the few remaining classes left at Harvard that runs on Harvard time, meaning that classes don't start until seven minutes later. And I'm sure that's a huge win for people who struggle to get up in the morning. Alrighty, I don't know if you guys can see, but I am completely wet. Before my midterms, I like to review the practice problems and even do them again so it actively engages my brain. I don't know the hard science behind it, but all I know is that passive learning like reading over slides or looking at the textbook won't help you retain the material better. Alright, so the time is 8.44. We have our midterm at 9am, so we're going to be heading over right now. Even though I stopped caring about getting the highest grades in my class, I still hold myself to a certain standard. I'm not going to lose sleep over grades, but I would do it to build a business that I'm extremely passionate about. In college, everything comes down to setting the right priorities and managing your time well. What you mean a flop? Bro. I thought like, that I, shit was I, I, I'm calm not bad. I passed at least, but like... I, bro, there's like, there was so many things where I was just like, fuck, I'm gonna yeah. miss like half a point on this. No, bro, like, the answers. <laughs> yeah, like, them giving us the answers low key clutched up. As I was busy chatting away with Joseph, I totally forgot to mention where we're going. Since we both got up super early this morning, we were both feeling a little bit hungry, but the dining halls don't open until 11.30, so we still have to wait for about another hour. So until then, we just decided to head back to my dorm, do some work, and just wait it out. For some reason, this clip didn't have audio, but it's 11.27, I'm hungry, Joseph's hungry, we can't wait to go eat at D-Hall. So, let's go and eat at D-Hall. So, as freshmen, once you get sorted into one of these 12 houses, you get your own little community within Harvard. Each house has its own dining hall and unique study spaces. Dunster was the first upperclassman house to be renovated. We have pool tables, we love the new dining hall vibes with the wooden crest chairs, and it's elegant yet classy touch. I'd say the food gets better after freshman year, and since I've grown up eating Chinese food all the time, it's nice to be able to eat a different variety of foods. Alright, just finished Dunster lunch. Now and go to the gym, but Joseph's gonna go back to his dorm, take a, nap. Take a big fat nap. <laughs> Man's exhausted. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm all dressed up for the gym. I should probably not exercise immediately after I eat. So uh, this is not procrastination. This is smart resting. And the reason that I kind of just stopped going to the university gym is just because I feel like the amenities weren't that great and some of the equipment did seem a little rusty and all. I don't want to come off as like spoiled or anything. That goes a long way because if you enjoy doing something, I think you would do it much longer and you wouldn't even mind doing it. But if you're like brute forcing yourself, doing it every single day, then at one point you will burn out. All right, so I'm off to the gym. It's about a four to five minute scooter ride away. And it's just nice to be able to get outside of the bubble. I've been able to meet some pretty cool people here in this gym. All right, so I'm here in the gym. Just in the mirror, you guys can see that. I'm gonna use my phone because I'm pretty sure they're pretty strict about filming. 
but I'm gonna do upper body, do some cardio, and then try and sneak in some clips. See you guys. In the past, I've always struggled with putting on more weight, and so one of my goals for this year is to bulk up 25 pounds. And I'm confident that by the end of this year, I can achieve this goal. I just need to be disciplined about tracking my food, eating consistently, and to train at a higher intensity level. So, made it back. It is right now 2.37. So, I'm gonna shower, then make a smoothie. I am kinda hungry. That workout did take a toll out of me, but that's okay. I'm gonna quickly get going because I do still wanna prepare a little bit before my client meeting. Okay, so just finished showering, got like 36 minutes, so I'm gonna show you guys the smoothie that I make, it's delicious. So for the smoothie, I just blend it in my kitchen. It consists of 250 milliliters of milk, 50 grams of oats, two scoops of ice cream, two scoops of either Greek yogurt or peanut butter, handful of frozen berries, and finally two scoops of naked whey protein powder. This is about a thousand calories, and if you're trying to bulk, liquid calories is a super helpful hack to add into your arsenal. Okay, so it is now 3.10. I have about 19 minutes to sort of like prep all the materials I need. This call should be fairly quick. I'm just going to be onboarding one of my clients, and she's going to be a good student. I'm sure of it. Alright, so it's time for one of my students to join, so... I'm just going to cut the video and I'll check back in after the call. See you soon. So now it's 4.34. The call went on for a little bit longer than I expected, but that's good. We had a good conversation. Today is the last day of classes, but there's still assignments to be turned in. Super excited for my friends to come visit tomorrow. My high school friends. I don't know if you guys know them. It's almost five, so I'm probably going to do a little bit more work and then around six-ish start cooking dinner. Dinner's gonna be gas. I'm gonna be chefing it up and you guys will get to see firsthand how I be chefing in Harvard. But yeah, just gonna jump into deep work. Um, nice little trick that I learned from Alex Hamuzi, basically setting a timer for your deep work session. So go ahead and setting a deep work timer for 75 minutes. Once that is ready, hit start. I'll see you guys in about 75 minutes. And especially when it's raining outside, I like to just study in my dorm. It's cozy and I can cook dinner right after. And sometimes if I'm lazy, I order takeout or just go out to eat with some of my friends. Compared to freshman year, I'm starting to figure out what it is I'm passionate in doing. It's not a traditional path and I feel like there is judgment all around. It's easy to succumb to peer pressure at seeing all my friends getting internships, but I think that if I just put my head down and grind, I can create my own path and find success within it. 75 minutes complete. I am exhausted, but I am hungry, I'm ready to cook dinner, and I'm just going to pop over to the kitchen. No need to go outside, because, you know, it's just that easy. Pretty simple night. We're going to first cook some steak, just a little beef ribeye steak, some bok choy. I do have this apron, I got it from China. Growing up and seeing my dad cook all the time, I'm glad I'm able to learn some things before I went off for college. I normally cook my steak on a pan, but ever since I got an air fryer, I've been just using that to cook my steak, and it's been a huge time saver. On to the bok choy. You'll have all the individual leaves, and with these individual leaves, you can go and wash them. Generally, by washing, you can just rub it, rub this part, because that's where like generally all the dirt is. Always got to make sure to eat veggies. If you struggle with eating them, I think you just aren't preparing them correctly, because if you make it look and taste delicious, I'm pretty sure everyone would just eat their veggies up. I'm a big fan of onions, especially when caramelized. My dad have always said, if you haven't been cut with a knife before, then you're not a real chef. However, please just do be cautious. And of course, cannot forget about the rice cooker and my rice. And now for the grand finale. Start off with some heated oil and then place in the onions. Stir fry them for a bit and then add in the bok choy. Get some soy sauce and hot water in it too. Steak is also ready to go. Let them rest for 10 minutes before you cut them up. I like to have it already cut up so I can just eat them in bite-sized pieces with my rice. It's delicious and it gives me the protein that I need for the day. All right, so the majority of the dishes are done. The Got the veggies and the steak right here. Still gonna be waiting for the rice. I realized I put it in too late. Typically what I do is I start my night routine at around 8.30. So it's like 6.48 right now. 
that means I probably have like an hour-ish to eat and then 30 minutes to just like do any work that doesn't require too much intensity. Afterwards, I start my night routine. I get ready for tomorrow. I shower first, of course, and all that night routine stuff. I do read a little bit before I go to bed just to help, you know, learn something new. I'm all about self-improvement here. And yeah, that's pretty much how a typical day in my life goes at Harvard. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.